of people have an, an obsession with finding every small area that can be improved. And then ha being hyper-focused and disciplined enough to be able to focus on each one of those elements. XVX in so many ways was a canvas for uh, me and the R&D team to really look at every single element. With every element, um, asking the question, A, is this the best that that element can be? And then B, if not, how can we make it better? There's so many different components and component combinations and, and topologies in the crossover, and each one of those pieces matters. And now we have complete control because we're designing and manufacturing one of those key components in-house. We have a, a brand new division that uh, manufactures capacitors. What combination of materials really gives us the net results that we're looking for? The net results of having the, the listener closer to the music. So the laser vibrometer system is an extremely accurate uh, way of measuring measuring resonances in, in a cabinet uh, and materials. I mean, it'll measure down to a nanometer. And not just a single point, but we can actually do multiple points. So we'll do, you know, 150, 200 points uh, across the, the panel. And we can actually get a very, very good idea of what is happening uh, through the frequency range of, of that enclosure. So in the 18 years I've been here at Wilson Audio, we have tested a variety of materials, hundreds, in fact. We, we came across this material, it's pretty revolutionary. The way that it sounds, it's almost like it's a black hole for vibration. It's orders of magnitude better than what we found in anything we've tested up to this point. For about three years, we've been developing this, uh, this new mid-range driver. Um, it's the Quadromag driver. We started off with a much different architecture and, and through um, iterating and listening and developing and fine-tuning and swapping out components and and really polishing and refining this driver we we were able to get a really beautiful uh, sweet sounding mid-range. Why are we so fanatical about adjustability with the drivers uh, relative to one another? It's because it matters. A, a person can hear the difference between two pulses um, in an anechoic space um, down below an eighth of an inch. Um, and so one of the questions we're asking is how do we get all the drivers to align? So we have a proprietary software that has been years in development and continues to be developed that we use to look at things in the time domain. And so with that we can model on the computer where things are at uh, at certain ear heights and listening distances. So after we build the first prototype, what we'll do is we'll use uh, the measurement system that Dave patented that we continue to use and continue to refine. And we'll use that to actually verify that what we have in the computer model is what's happening in the real world. And then, not just to align for one position, but to adapt to your listening room. And then on top of that, so as to function, it has to look beautiful at the same time. So tying all these elements together, all these new elements together, the binding posts and the connection methodology, the new wires, the new capacitors in the uh, crossovers, the new drivers, how everything aligns together, what you're getting out of the XVX is an unprecedented level of micro detail, harmonic expression, and dynamic contrast. The music sounds more open, natural, and beautiful. I had a wonderful opportunity uh, with my, um, my sweet wife. Uh, for our honeymoon, we went to Vienna. We traveled to where Mahler was inspired, walking through the mountains that he walked through and, and by the streams. I, I get what he was talking about um, to some small degree in his third symphony, just what, what the different elements in life teach us. And I can relate to that as uh, walking around Utah and seeing the beautiful arches and walking through Zion and, and traversing that landscape and being at awe at what's in front of us. And so those are some of the elements that you see in the design of uh, XVX.